Welcome back to the Cap Rack. It is Tuesday, January 5th. It is a big college basketball day, typical Tuesday around the league. Sam, how you doing this morning? This oh, afternoon, doing... rather. It's a late oh, yeah. It's, it's noon already. Damn. I have left bed. But, yeah, I'm feeling great, <laughs> you know. Uh, great day of college basketball again, so I'm excited for that. So we got six games, I think. That's one, two, yep, six games, eight picks, I believe, from the model. Um, we made some tweaks. We had a bad day yesterday. We had a bad day on January 2nd. We're like, I don't even want to say the record because it's that bad, but it's the model. It's going to it's gonna even itself out because that's just what models do. It's a computer. It's going to... It's the ups and downs of sports betting, too. Like, yeah, you it's know. college basketball. We lost a under-over by maybe two points yesterday. We lost... Uh, we had a blown lead. We had Radford put up 46 in the first half, and they are like 340th in the league in points per game. So, whatever. Yeah, it's just some run. really, like... San Diego ups- State, we lost the under yesterday because they put up, like, 52 points oh. in the first half. I don't understand it. Yeah, all, you're going to have these, you know, these little anomalies where it just – it just – what's – the only thing they're going to do it all year, the only time they're going to score like this. So Exactly. It's going to happen, but, you know, that means at some point soon it'll – you'll have that, like, 6-0 and day. Maybe that's today. I know. No, I mean, it's possible. Eight, you know, we got eight picks. Oh, wait, eight picks. That's right. That's right. Okay, so first game of the day is going to be at 2 p.m. It's going to be Toledo visiting Kent State. The total is – 148 and the spread is Kent State minus two. Yesterday, when I was running these model picks, it said Toledo was favored by a point. So the line has shifted to the home team. Uh, the model's projecting a 70 to 67 Toledo win on the road. I personally really like Toledo. The model has loved Toledo. I'm going to get you there um, against the spread and over under picks on this or their trends. Toledo's nine and two against the spread, four and six. Um, so six out of 10 for the under. Kent State's three and one against the spread over under uh, two and two. So split there. We're going to have a play on the under and Toledo. What do you think, Sam? Oh, love that. Especially love the under because I mean, both teams, like they have the ability to score, but it's pretty high total. And also they play, yeah. they're more of a defensive team. Mm-hmm. But it happens like, you know, they can score in transition. But, you know, both teams are defending then, you know, We'll see. I mean, what was total? It was 140. 148. Like, we're projecting 137 oh, yeah. points. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we have that, 11 that's... points of edge on the total and six-ish on the edge. So, we'll take it against the spread. Yeah, and Toledo has, I think, some better wins For this sure. season. I mean, they've, they've been more impressive. Team. And um, Kent State, they don't know that the favorite because it's another at home. That's, that's got to be the home edge there. So, yeah, you know, Vegas sees it as, as a pretty evenly matched, uh, two evenly matched team. So, it should be a good game. Yep. I mean, I'm looking now, it's the line's at three. So, I mean, we're just, the line is shifting in our favor. Uh, look out for injury news. I'm not sure. We haven't heard anything yet on the Toledo side, um, but that's it. So we're going to go under 148, Toledo plus two. Uh, then we got two six o'clock games, two seven o'clock games, and a nine o'clock game. So first six o'clock game is going to be Northern Illinois visiting Ohio. Um, 14 and a half point spread in favor of Ohio, who's home. Uh, total set at 134. Our model's projecting an 81 to 61 Ohio win. So about a 20 point win. Um, 142 and a half on the total. We're projecting over, but not enough, or projecting over 134 and a half. So we got about eight and a half points of edge there. And on the spread for Ohio, we got about 5.3 points of edge. This is a big spread, but Ohio is a solid mid major team. And, and Northern Illinois stinks. Yeah, they're really, <laughs> really, really going to blow them out here, I think. I just said yes. the B word, but it's okay. Yeah, it's Northern Illinois. They're one and seven. They average a whopping 57 points a game and let up uh, 76 points a game. So, and Ohio averages 80. You know they're gonna they're gonna score on you. And if you can't defend, then I mean both total was what 132. Yeah, Ohio Hello might here. Ohio might do like 90 of it by themselves. Yeah, look, I think this is gonna just be a blowout. 134 is easy to go over in a blowout. I think, I mean, you yeah. get like 85 to 50. I mean that's that's wishful thinking there, but that's a cover. Right, it's, and right there. It, it's reasonable. Even like 85 to 60, like something like that. Uh, I don't know. It can go yeah, over. It's right very here. reasonable in this game too. Okay. So there we got over 134 and a half and Ohio minus 14 and a half. The next six o'clock game is going to be Dayton versus Fordham. Um, another big spread here. Dayton's favored by 11 and a half. The total set at a very low 127. The model's projecting a 72 to 61 Dayton win. Um, projecting Fordham against the spread, but 
very, very light. It's like right on it, 0.5 um, points of edge. So you don't want to touch that. Um, but we're going to go over the low total here. 5.5 um, points of edge there, predicting 132 and a half. Dayton's a much better team than Fordham. I just feel like this is a low total and should be very similar to the Ohio Northern Illinois game where it's kind of lopsided, but it goes over a, a reasonable total. Yeah, Dayton's always been a good uh, program. Mm -hmm. And Fordham, only, there's only a third game. or still kind of, you know, figure things out, especially defensively. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, Dayton should be able to score pretty, pretty easily throughout the game. And, you know, as long as Fordham can, you know, do something offensively, they should definitely go over. Yeah, I think as long as Fordham gets to maybe like that 55 60 number, I think Dayton will do the rest. So, I mean, like I said, yeah, like I said, yeah, exactly like a 70 to 55 game. Like it's that's yeah. a pretty low scoring game. We're still there. Yeah, we're right still there. Right there. We need three more points, but it's okay. Yeah, right. Close enough. One basket, one basket. Yeah. All right. So over 127 there in the Dayton Fordham game at six o'clock. Then move on to our first seven o'clock game. It's going to be Vanderbilt versus Kentucky. Um, another big spread. Kentucky's favored by 11 and a half, which. I mean, look, they can win this game by 11 and a half, but they're Kentucky. Usually they're a lot better than they are right now. I think they're like one in six or two in six at this point. Yeah, they, they did bad. get their second win on a double overtime win against Mississippi State a couple days ago. So a whopping win, a huge win for them. Huge yeah, win. Where, they, where they only scored 78 points in a double overtime game. That's rough. But they won. Um, <laughs> I mean, the, the, the model's projecting under, but it's only a 0.4 um, point edge on that. So we're not going to have a total on that. Um, but what we're going to do is with a 71 to 64 Kentucky projected win. So about seven and a half points, we got 3.8 points of edge here on Vandy. Uh, the line was 12 and a half yesterday. Um, it's now 11 and a half uh, for what we can see. So just kind of look to take the extra points with the road team here. Vandy is not a great team. They're not great. Even in the sec. Um, I mean, the sec is a pretty good conference. I would say in terms of basketball, they're tough. They're, they play physical down there, and I just feel like Vandy can keep this close enough, and so does the model. Yeah, like obviously there's more talent on the Kentucky side, but yeah. as we've seen all season, it's not – they're not gelling together. It's They look like a mess. You know, it looks like more like you're at an L.A. fitness at 3 p.m. than the Kentucky basketball team. Like this is – they got to figure it out at some point, I feel like, or they're going to miss the NIT, let alone the – it's double a tournament, so you're not wrong. You're really not I mean, wrong. I, th I do think Kentucky will win the game, but it's going to be one of those like games they got to fight through, and you know it's going to be an ugly game, but they should come out on top. But yeah, I like Vandy to cover. Yeah, I mean, I hope so. I think Vandy could do this. Watch Vandy win this game outright. I would laugh. That oh, would I, I would laugh hysterically. <laughs> It'd be amazing. Okay, uh, next seven o'clock game is going to be NC State visiting Clemson. Clemson is favored by five. Total set at one thirty-five and a half. Uh, we're projecting a 75 to 69 Clemson win. So about right on the total, no play or right on the spread, but no play there. 142.7 points projected here. Uh, so we're getting 7.2 points of edge on the over. Um, both of these teams can put it in the basket. I feel like the only worry here for me, just kind of from a very human logic perspective here, I guess, NC State's tough on the road. Uh, they don't really put the ball in the basket much. It's... It's hard. Yeah. Clemson kind of, they, both of these teams, I mean, NC state wants to play at a high pace year in and year out. Clemson's kind of more of that slower pace team, but they're good. Uh, they can put the ball in the hoop. It's just a matter of can NC state score to send this over. And that's my worry. Yeah. It's like, whose pace are we going to play this game at? And mm -hmm. if NC state can do what they want to and push the tempo, then yeah, the over should, should hit easily. But as you said, NC state tends to at times struggle on the road. Yeah. But they are having a good season so far. What are they? They're six and one, probably just mm -hmm. outside of top twenty five. I mean, Clemson's eight and one is themselves. They're they're a good defensive team, but I think if NC I think NC State really is the better team, despite what uh, the rankings say. Yeah. Um, and if they if they can do what they want here, they this would be a big win for them come come tournament resume time. So, you know, I expect a big performance from NC State tonight. For sure. Um don't need them to win. Don't need them to lose. Just need them to yeah, score like, a lot. Like when, yeah, like when they have a good performance, <laughs> like they're going to be scoring. Like you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying. I do. I do. I do. Like if they're, they're not going to win, they're not going to win the ones win the game. Like you know, in the in the low 50 or the low 60s. Mm -hmm. If they're going to win, they're going to be hitting like in the 70s, even close to 80. Yeah, I mean, you can only hope. So let's move on to the last game of the day. It is going to be a game that you and I cannot bet on in the state of New Jersey. But Rutgers visiting Michigan State. Uh, spread is Michigan State minus one, total set at 150 and a half. We're projecting a 79 
to 79 game. I don't have the decimal points showing here, but there's a 0.42 margin. We have Rutgers winning this game. So about a one and a half point edge there on the total. Um, nothing enough to kind of denote a play there, but we do have a play on the over on a high 150 and a half. We're projecting 157 and a half points. Rutgers, no doubt, can score the basketball. Michigan so State is a Michigan little State. sus, a little sus, but they're home. So yeah, I have they're streak, they're streaky. I mean, they both average like Rutgers average is a little over 80, where you know, uh, Michigan's on the opposite side of that, just like a little under 80 points a game. Um, just so Michigan State's a little, a little more streaky, you know, they'll have a couple of times where they're cold, but you know, this is a big game for them, you know, they're yeah. <laughs> like come, come. Come the Big Ten tournament, you don't want to be like a seven or an eight seed in that tournament because no. there's a lot of especially not a lot of really good either. teams. Yeah, in that Big Ten, you know, Rutgers coming off like a, a hard, a tough loss against Iowa over the weekend, but yeah, there's, there's going to be a ton of points in this game. Like I see, you know, like a little slugfest back and forth, just two very good teams going after it. I hope so. Rutgers likes to push the pace and. I feel like Michigan State and Tom Izzo will have no problem playing at that pace. So, oh yeah, yeah, they, they can That's, adapt and kind of play if you like if they they can up the tempo too. So, you know, still for a lot of points, some fireworks tonight. So over one fifty and a half in the Rutgers Michigan State game at nine p.m. Eastern tonight. That wraps up today's Tuesday episode of the Cap Rack. My name is Tyler Blumenstick, joined by Sam Meehan. We will see you tomorrow. <laughs>